hello welcome to fields droid videos so today i am going to show you how to set up emulator in your android studio if you are a user of android studio for the first time then i would recommend you see this video completely you will face some of the issues while creating emulator for the first time in android studio so i'm going to teach you how to set up emulator for the first time in android studio so first of all we require set of system images to be installed in our machine so to know what all system images are installed just go to your sdk manager and it shows you the set of system images installed in your machine so here i'm using android 5.0.1 that is lollipop uh, uh, environment to development purpose so here i have downloaded lollipop emulators that is arm intel x8664 and intel x86 uh, um, atom emulator so here intel emulators are very fast in performance and they are very smooth to use okay they'll give you a real phone uh, touch sensitivity and also like uh, they're very smooth to use and it's very fast in um, I mean like you if you deploy your application it gets deployed very fast and you you really like to use this emulator okay I would say better to go for Intel emulator ARM emulators are really frustrating and they are very slow and it takes a lot of time to launch a um, lot of uh, I mean, you, you don't get uh, I mean you feel like uh, why I'm using this instead of using this ARM you better go to your phone and then start developing application so if you are using emulator for development purpose then I would say go for Intel emulators only they're very fast and very smooth just click on this Intel x86 atom underscore 64 system image if your machine is 64 bit otherwise go for simple x86 atom system image this is for 32 bit and just click on install packages so this just installs the emulator once your emulators are installed what you need to do is you need to go for AVD manager AVD manager is required to configure the device okay you can set up uh, hardware properties like what is the screen size you wish to and uh, oh, oh, how much RAM you are going to allocate and then whether you want HDPI, XHDPI, LDPI whatever the different density screens so all these things you can configure in your AVD manager so let me create a fresh virtual device for you here you will get a set of categories like phone category tablet category wear category and then TV category tablet categories for tablets so these are the predefined hardware configurations provided by Google this is for Android Wear and this is for Android TV so let me create one for phone now and also you can create your own custom hardware profile by clicking on new hardware profile button so here you can specify your screen size how much you wish to the resolution and uh, whether you want to have portrait landscape then whether you want to have a camera features or not all these things are available in your custom hardware profile so you can create your own hardware profile and start using it for a development purpose so let me create the default one which comes with a google so i'm choosing four inch screen okay so i'm just clicking next here system image screen will shows you what all the system images are installed in your machine okay so like uh, here you have a direct link to download the system image alternative to uh, this uh, SDK manager you can directly click on the download button download uh, icon which is given here and you can download the system image and start using it from here so as of now I have downloaded only lollipop images so if you want you can download jelly bean images Kit Kat images ice cream sandwich whatever it is so here I am going to choose a lollipop x86 underscore 64 this is an intel emulator so I would say better go for this okay so uh, here um, you will get the preview of what emulator you are going to choose next okay so here are going to here you need to provide one name for your emulator whatever it is just give system I mean that's for testing okay so don't change anything here just click on finish once your emulator is uh, created it start appearing in your virtual device list now you need to launch the emulator so to launch emulator what you need to do is you need to click on this green color arrow okay so you will if you are using android studio for the first time you will face a few like a uh, hardware is missing so it will come you are going to use uh, 
and the first time so those I mean, the main problem what you see is um, hardware acceleration intel hardware accelerator uh, uh, software is missing that is your you should enable virtualization in your machine to install that software so let me tell you uh, like where that software will be there first you need to go to your install location that will be there in your uh, users folder by default uh, android studio will get installed in users username then app data then go to that uh, sdk folder inside that sdk folder you go to extras there you go to intel and here you will get intel accelerated execution manager here intel haxm so this intel haxm error will come because you if you are using android em if you are using android that is intel emulator for the first time uh, then that emulator requires this uh, virtualization software to run so since that software is missing uh, it fails so you need to just click on this exe so this gets installed in your machine but now one more thing is when you install this software it throws you an error saying like hxm software is missing so that mean the the hxm requires your um, your uh, motherboard should enable that uh, uh, virtualization feature so to enable this virtualization feature you need to restart your machine go to bios setting by pressing f2 then there go to configuration then enable the virtualization option which is present in configuration section so in in, in lenovo machines it will be there in configuration sections but it may vary based on the laptops so but it will be there in your bias settings make sure you enable the virtualization option and then save your bias settings restart your machine then install this intel haxm software once you install the software successfully come back to this nexus uh, testing emulator which we have created so just click on this green icon it just takes a while to launch okay starting avd manager it it just takes a while maybe it takes one or two minutes okay so we'll wait uh, till it gets um, launched okay actually this is one of the major mistake uh, i mean we i face a lot of issues um, when i am setting up emulator for the first time because i didn't had intel hxm software installed in my pc then i ran around here and there then i found in the sdk folders then um, somehow i managed to get it done but uh, this is one of the common mistake where every beginner who use intel who use android studio uh, what is this uh, mistake so now our emulator is uh, starting up here you can see the log okay so here it shows like it's going to launch this uh, testing so uh, this will take a while maybe one or two minutes so depending on your system speed so here you got the properties like uh, now your emulator is launching okay so this is how the fresh emulator which is a four inch device uh, looks okay so here it's going to show you what are the hardware properties like um uh, here you will get to know that hx is working emulator runs in fast virtual mode so this is what you need it emulator was out this this is the emulator which is starting now uh, this is uh, booting now for the first time it is launching so it takes a bit of time
taking a bit time because my PC is little bit slow. If you have higher RAM, it will be a little bit faster in booting. This laptop, this um, emulator is launching in uh, 4 GB RAM with i7 processor, Windows 8 machine. Okay, superb. At last your emulator is launched. Okay, so just see how smooth it is. You will be able to hear the no sound, tuck tuck sounds because this is system sounds which are enabled. So this is for the first time. So it's showing all the cell tips and all. It is very smooth since it's booting. It's just again. Yeah, now you see. Go here. You'll not get the same feel in ARM emulators. I'm going to settings. Look at this. This is lollipop version. So you'll get the notifications. Okay, I'm going to settings here. It's 24. Just I'm clicking this. Okay, this is all about it. Thank you for watching our session. Please feel free to provide your. Please feel free to provide your feedback and subscribe to our channel feels right thank you